みなさんこんにちは。Hello everyone. Thank you for visiting Tuesday Room again. Today's guest is Mark Davidson. He is with MA and he's one of the newest members of TUJ Board. So welcome, Mark. Thank you very much. Those are your s c h o o l i n g s Your s c h o o l i n g s Mark. Well, first of all,、yes. I would like to ask you、mm-hmm. the business model of Amway. Right. The reason is、mm-hmm. I know Amway very, very well.、Mm-hmm. I went to school in Michigan. Oh, okay. So that's where Amway was born. Right. And oftentimes people do misunderstand it with、uh, Maruti Shoho. Right.、Mm-hmm. So, once and for all,、yes. for the audience,、okay. to you, Dad, would you kind of explain? Surely.、Um, thanks very much. I'm actually a new employee of Amway. I served as a U.S. diplomat for 28 years.、Um, before several months ago, I left the Department of State and, and joined MY. And the reason I joined MY is because、um, it's really a company that's animated by five values. It's a family run company, and it's a company whose slogan is helping people live better lives. And it does this, I think, in two ways. First of all, it offers Really high quality consumer goods, including the world's number one selling、uh, brand of nutritional supplements or vitamins. But secondly, it also offers people an opportunity to run their own businesses.、Mm-hmm. Um, it offers entrepreneurship opportunities, but not just the opportunity, it offers support to people training,、uh, instruction, encouragement, and incentives. And so in Japan, we actually have 800,000 distributors. Who are selling Amway products not in stores or through the internet, but through perhaps the most tried and true、uh, method, which is by word of mouth and by selling to their friends and associates. So the business model is very simple. It offers people the opportunity to start their own businesses with the support of the products of Amway and work as much or as little as they want to and aim as high as, as, as they might like. Some people have become extraordinarily successful and wealthy. And、others are just happy to make a few extra yen、uh, you know, mm-hmm. in their spare time at night after the kids go to bed for their family. And one of the really cool things is over 85% of our distributors in Japan are women. So we're really very consistent with、uh, Prime Minister Abe's focus on providing more flexibility、mm-hmm. and opportunities for women in the workforce. So, in any event, helping people live better lives is kind of the, the, the motto. And Value、mm. that, that, that keeps them way moving forward. No, I love, I just really have tremendous respect、uh, in that company, especially、um, when it comes to diversity,、mm. regardless of your nationality,、mm. uh, age, gender,、uh, educational background, really doesn't matter. Everybody's given the opportunity to be successful. I, I agree with you. Amway is active in more than 100 countries around the world, but our leading markets are, are in Asia. And here in Japan as well, too, we've been growing、uh, now for the seventh straight year. This is a business model and a business that's not just stable, it's actually growing in Japan.、Mm-hmm. As more people look for flexibility and freedom in, 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 in their own lives and want to work their own hours. But in terms of diversity, that's one of the things actually that attracted me to attend the university.、Uh, and the, 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 the tremendous honor and privilege to serve、um, on, on, on the board here. This is a university that is actually focused on producing the kind of, well, the Japanese term is global jinza,、Hi. global human resources.、Uh, young people, Americans, Japanese, from other countries as well, too, who can thrive in the 21st century world that, that is defined by diversity.、Mm-hmm. It's defined by people getting together from different backgrounds, with different ideas, finding ways to communicate and to overcome their differences.、Um, Our own human experience tells us, but we also have you know, scientific research that shows us、yes. that companies that have greater diversity in their executives and on their board are more profitable. That's right. Are That's more right. profitable.、Um, it's, 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 it's remarkable that what seems to be right as a principle、mm-hmm. actually turns out to be good for the bottom line of a company.、Mm-hmm. And、I'm, I think my company embraces that with providing opportunities for so many women. And this university offers that kind of preparation to young people, and it's so exciting to be part of trying to move it forward. That's right. When it comes to diversity, Temple University in Japan probably is the most diverse university, educational institution s in Japan,、um, perhaps. Just a few moments ago, walking into the studio here and passing by the incredible 
a right array of faces in the hallways here. It's really, really inspiring. And everyone is 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 getting along. Everyone's working together. Mm -hmm. um, they're 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 joined in a kind of greater effort. They're part of a greater team. Mm -hmm. uh, this this is a real even role model perhaps yeah. for for what Japan and what the United States needs mm -hmm. in the twenty first century. Well, over sixty countries where the students are from, and one third is Japanese. Then the rest of the student body is just really, you know, diverse nationalities from all around the world. Well. So, um, even the Japanese government now is talking about the need to um, incentivize and, and support global gene science. That sounds like a rather cold term, you know, human resource. We're all more than human resources. <laughs> We're humans. So maybe the term should be global to human. Mm. <laughs> global to human. Um, because, of course, what international education provides is more than just skills to, to do well in the job. That's important. But it provides kind of depth of character and intellect that people need in this confusing world to, 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 to enjoy and appreciate and make sense of all the things that are going uh, You know, having said that though, uh, Japan is one of the most mature countries where global talent pool is quite scarce, isn't it? Um, it is surprising. <clears throat> When I first came to Japan, myself as a graduate student 30 years ago, Koksaika, internationalization was the slogan throughout this country. Everyone was for it, but no, no one really knew what it meant. But, but it sounded like that. Uh, in recent years, you know, people talk about global, global this, global that, um, using the, the kairaigo, the English. Um, but, but, but despite all of this rhetoric, for a number of, of complex factors, the numbers of young Japanese who have the kind of global skills mm -hmm. that they need, again, not just to do well in the globalized economy, but to do well as, as, as human beings mm -hmm. in a globalized world, it's really, really insufficient. Mm -hmm. Now, the same can be said of the United States or any country. Mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. So young people that seek out this kind of education are really at an advantage. That's right. That's right. So in uh, Amway, what kind of a talent you know, uh, is the company looking for? We're looking for, for lack of a better word, mobile and gene side. But, but what does that really mean in mm -hmm. practice? English is part of it, of course. For better or for worse, English is the language of global communication and global commerce. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a pilot landing an aircraft in Central Asia, or someone doing a business deal in Tokyo or Hong Kong, English is the common language that we use today. But it's more than just that. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a habit of mind. It's an analytical habit of mind. It comes from having learned one or two or more different languages, being able to approach problems from various angles, being open to new ideas, and being able to synthesize or bring together diverse opinions and ideas to, to solve a problem. But there's one more skill, too, that's extraordinarily important. And that is resilience. Mm -hmm. Basically, failing. And then getting back up again and moving forward. I studied abroad uh, a total of four times as an undergraduate and graduate student. I failed terribly every single day. I made mistakes in my grammar. Uh, I, I, I made cultural mistakes. Somehow I survived. I learned. It didn't kill me. It made me stronger. It, it, it built a sense of, even if you fall over seven times, mm -hmm. you can get up eight. It's a wonderful Japanese kotowaza. Yes. Um, but the best way to develop that life skill is to study in an environment with other people. Mm -hmm. Where you make mistakes, but you're in, a, you're in an environment that permits you to fall down and get back on the way. So it has to do with language ability, it has to do with the analytical frame of mind. It has to do with the kind of resilience that can keep anyone going through what are invariably setbacks. You know, this is really great. Nana korobi yaoki is the Japanese saying, but yes. today we don't really accept mistakes, but we doubt that we have no growth. Well, you know, Prime Minister Abe, uh, in this regard as well, I think really hit the nail on it. When he became prime minister for the second time, yes. he said publicly, yes. you know, I, I messed up the first time, but I'm back. And he made a speech in which he said, Japan is back. 
Uh, he, want, he said he wanted to create a society in which people had second chances. That could be a second chance as a politician. It could be a second chance as a, 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 as a woman who, who takes a decision to have a child and leave her job, but later have a second chance to get back into the workforce. So a society of second chances is a society of greater opportunity for everyone. And in this, um, I think Prime Minister Abe has really um, set forth an important principle. And again, I think this, this university offers kind of skills that everyone's going to need. Everyone will need a second chance at some point in life. That's a wonderful message. Thank you so much. Well, absolutely. It's been a great pleasure. And I look forward to continuing to work with you. Then please come back to uh, TJ Room again. I'd love to. Thank you very much. Thank you.